Hello, are we live? Just have a little check. Not yet. Still saying I'm coming. Is that? Yeah. Can anyone see or hear me yet? Check yours, Nick? Because I'm getting the same thing you did last time where it's not updated, oh, but people are saying hi, so yeah. it could just be me. Bye. Okay, cool. Yep. Good afternoon. Well, as you can tell by this whole get up, everyone's gone, it's super, super cold. Um, so what we're doing today is we're sticking down the ring beam, these metal beams that we brought up a few days ago all around the perimeter getting them level ready to take the slant of the roof so we've done half of it already this morning it went pretty well um we're sticking it down with a plaster which sets really really quick so that's why we all need to get on it mixing and kind of putting down at the same time so it so it all works yeah so that's what we're gonna do nick and cameron are gonna mix while i get all the outside perimeter hopefully level Good to see you all again. Let me reposition you so we can see the whole thing. There we go. Okay, where's my trowel? Uh, where did you leave it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Can you pull it off? Uh-huh. I was helping the entire wall with it. Why are you popping it in the water? So plaster is what they originally used to stick the wooden ring beam on um, and what's funny is when me and Nick were up here taking the old plaster off you could see that it all had rain droplets in which made us laugh because obviously they were working in the same miserable conditions that we are now. and the
has realised it looks quite sunny, the angle you can see me at. <laughs> Stop being rude. It's really important, <clears throat> it's taking quite a long time to mix each bucket. It's really important this mix is super smooth. There's no lumps in it because that'll add weakness. It's got to be a super smooth paste and then it'll go on nice and even as well. Yeah. Yeah. over so you can see me blobbing the goop on. Look at the view by the way. Absolutely amazing view. I really, really miss this. So the idea is, and you'll see this in more detail on the vlog tonight, is that I put down a bed of this special plaster here, and I plaster the back of this, and then I put the beam in place. We can now measure exactly from the frame. Uh, 50 centimeters from the frame is where the outside of the wall is gonna be. So we coat all this with plaster, get the frame set and level, and that'll hold it in place and it'll just take out all the little undulations in the, snow, in the stone. Um, oh, sorry, just saw a comment there, why we're we not drilling the beam in. It's a good question. And the problem is that these top stones are granite and granite fractures super easy. So if we start dr drilling a big hole to put them through, um, there's a chance that we could hit a fracture line and crack one of these top stones, which obviously would be pretty much a disaster. So the plaster is going to hold everything in place. And then the way the whole frame's braced will mean that these bits are pulled. Well, you'll see. You'll, you'll see. Right. That is now not all ready for me. That one is, yeah. Where the fuck it is? There we are. You done? Uh, no, I think I'm good. No. Ah. You got to get the leg up on the wall, or? I guess we could go there, yeah. Uh, no, no, I just have technical application here looping
<laughs> what have you broken now? <laughs> Then we both know if that, in real reality it would be Nick fixing something that we broke. Yeah. Oh, definitely. As always. I like you, baby. And he is like this. Now he's got a little posture in the foot. <laughs> yeah, the good thing about being up so high, you can see all the intruders coming. There's a big group of people, so you get a lot of people visit the chateau. Obviously, like people like you guys that watch visit, which we've already talked about, but a lot of people, because there's a memorial down at the bottom of the lane for the children that lived in the chateau, a lot of people then migrate from the memorial and just to have a look at the chateau. Which is quite nice, you know, but yeah, it's like a little, look, let's have a little spying in the here. There we go. There we go. Right, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing now. Yeah, right there. So a line, a plaster, and then back the butter in the beam as well. So just a really full contact here. Um, yeah, and it'll sit the beam really nicely. What a job. What a, what a father and son team. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put you back over here. You can see Cameron's builder's bum um, and Nick jiggling this thing about. <laughs> I can't my can't have to use this behave. There we go.
find a goop. under there. Leveling.
Right, well that's one stuck down and this one took quite a while because this was like the worst bit of the wall, particularly up and down with massive dips. So we've had to put a few props in just until all the mortar sets and stuff. Yeah, one, two and a half more to go. One ready? Yeah. Okay. Let me put this. so much mix yeah crazy and don't forget what it's took from this morning already as well yeah this was a wood section yeah. it was yeah six point three K how many Six point three thousand. Six point three thousand people yep. watching. Watching me Donald goop on a wall. My home alone must not be shown on TV yet. <laughs> <laughs> Die Hard's not rerunning yet. Three thousand thought it was Bake Off. <laughs> <laughs> Live Bake Off. How to ice your chateau wall. Yeah, no, this, this bit again is quite a dip. dogs are chasing a balloon. They're chasing a balloon? Yeah, can you see the pink balloon down there behind the just digger? They've just followed, they've just chased it around, uh, down to the digger from the house. God, such vicious guard dogs, them two. Chasing balloons. Pink ones, not no, the rest. No, 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 Pull your side in first, so I can. There you go. Then like that. We'll show you why you were downstairs. If we got stairs in, they'd be up here with us. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. A lot of people sing about. 
fit in a temporary staircase. And one, one kind of drawback of that is that the dogs would be straight up here. <laughs> You'd never keep them down. Um, at the moment it's quite good that access is so hard uh, for kids and visitors and stuff like that. So that's one, one bonus of not having them. Until they learn how to climb ladders. I will yeah. teach you. Okay. How many bags have we got left? Oh, two. Oh. Four. Should have only done two mixes today, yesterday. We've done four mixes today. Okay, two. Um, some eagle-eyed viewers may realise that we're using bags of semen to uh, do this, which we've all found quite hilarious over the time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Get back into cage decorating. Yeah, well, you can eat that ice. You can eat that icing by yourself. I like my teeth in my mouth. Thank you very much. You do stole my seat. <laughs> I'm gonna take a video of you doing that and send it to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Oi, Gordon, what do you think of this icing? Right, to me. Your corner needs to come over a lot. What? We get chuck with that tape measure. I can see from the gap between the two beams as well. That could be his cutting. I did number them all. <laughs> you keep telling me. Uh, nowhere that took me that big level. Spirit of the level. Swap you. You know what is good? Even though this wall goes up and down, it's naturally, all. as soon as we place these, they're all they've all been level. Just amazing, isn't it? Just pretty using the elevator. Yeah, not only for Just making sure to finish off this back edge just because it'll stop it sliding about but it really doesn't have to be neat which is the excuse i always use rustic finish it's got a gutter in front of it anyway yeah i mean i think if we take do you remember when we saw the original yeah I think what they actually did is they angled the plaster down mm. from this the for the guttering. Yeah. You could see how it was sat in there. Yeah, so I think probably. No, just look at the drain pipe hole at that end. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's well out in there anyway. Yeah. I think probably we will have to put a slope on this. Seven point six now, you're climbing. Oh, that's cold. What a thing. I really wish you would have sat backwards then. Right, I think we've got enough to get that last one on. And then it gives me chance to cut that middle in between bit and just make a little bit for that, yeah. Yeah, far yeah. Move these guys. Imagine just moving 7,000 people, people are 7,600. That's so powerful. I feel like Zeus. You could just throw them off the roof and no one <laughs> could stop you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, let me show you the views, actually. I know some of you don't really like heights. Um, that's where we dug the thing to get in the basement. Um, so it's all on this side. Uh, view that way seemed to be covered up by roof um actually in summer there was just a tiny little triangle there where you could see the view so it shows how different all this is in winter yeah that's i think the best view all the way up there seeing the hills in the background for though for those of you that know the area roughly um there's a mountain range in claremont ferrand um, called Mont d'Or and on a clear day without you know all the trees in leaf you can see it right right in the distance <sighs> don't forget you built another level yeah there's still one more level in the chateau to go so that makes exactly a, so. yeah so the view would be even better <coughs> we were talking about that yesterday now you know what my view of the world is all the time. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, you've actually been this high. If you look at the lines that you cut... I was higher. You, you're slightly higher than this, yeah. So you've had this view first. Nice. It was that time higher than this one, Yeah. Yeah, so that's famously, which we'll keep saying, is there's a video of Nick cutting them lime trees. You'll have to try and go back and find it. Where I just caught him with a drone and he sat at the very top just rolling a fag and just having a fag in his little tea break at the top of a tree. Admiring the view. Admiring the view, yeah. Okay, so we've got this last one to put on. Then I've got a little bit here to cut and we haven't got enough plaster yet to put that on. Um, so give me a chance to cut that. So let's get this last one on and then we'll all have a chat. And I keep forgetting to film this for the actual vlog. Um, orange pants man can't make it really till um, after Christmas he's busy working and he's got loads of overtime to do so he will be back soon after that is that good? no you'd be better on that for you yeah because you're going to be on the other side <sighs> ok logistics here yeah <laughs> It's a good thing having a 10 second delay because we could actually counter check your shots. Beautiful. Who works in a place like this? I catch up in the old <laughs>
Live vlog and real vlog. I've got the live vlog with him. Yeah. It's vlog section. Someone getting the kettle on. Someone getting the kettle on. Are you just saying yes because that's the expected response, or did you actually hear what he asked? <laughs> One noggin that, one is not that keeps big. twisting around, yeah. And then you turn around and say that I'm the paranoid one. Paranoid one. Yeah. Paranoid and alive, thank you very much. <coughs> so you may be wondering, would it have been easier to do this before the wooden frame was up? Wait, what we're waiting for is a day without rain. Imagine if this was torrential rain, this would have been an absolute mess and it would have never set. So in the meantime, for waiting for that day, which they don't come very often anymore, we've got all of other stuff. And, and, it'd have been a nightmare after we found. Yeah. Right. There is always a reason. It may not be a valid one. Okay, can you give me a hand just putting? Yeah. Bringing this and putting it. <coughs> Don't, why? That's what you've got waiting on. You've kind of got a proper harness. Yes. So yeah, you can you can explain that, Nick. You, you, have, you have to go over there and explain why you're making me be safe. You just shut yourself in the foot, Nick. Right. Like straight into that top lens. Top lens. Yeah. So I finally convinced him to get a full a full arrest. Harness and we'll say it's a work position one that he needs less than an hour to use. We're just waiting on the rest of the part to come in. The actual harness has arrived now. 
So the idea is that I'm going to get him anchor points up here so when he's working on this side of the framework, he's going to be safe and he can't fall. But if it, instead of just having the fall arrest, that if he went over the edge, he'd just be dangling. Could be dangling for hours. This way, he can actually be laid down. It'll be on a rope system as opposed to just a short lanyard. So, yeah. So, anyone that's worried about safety, Nick also does hassle me about safety. And it's going to be safe. I'm going to... Well, I don't know if it is going to be safer because... Yeah, it'd be safer. It'd be safer, but I think people would be more scared seeing me abseiling all over the roof. But you could use two hands instead of having to hold on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like the fall arrest harness because, like you say, if you fall, I am just dangling You've there on the three, side three of the shutter. You've got that you just hung there and it is until somebody could come and get you down. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least the system it, would be all right if I was on a live and we had 8,000 people rush to my aid. Yeah, from a merry <laughs> yeah. 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 So things will be safer. Right. Things are about. Hand to pull it over. It really does spin it all. No, that's not right. Fifty one? Yeah. Okay. Level it. You're normally the noisy one. Did I tell you last time about what Calvin said? Oh, about the system. When, when he went back, he's like, I can't watch the videos anymore because I hear that skid steer noise and it's like sort of trench warfare, like kids and yeah. flashbacks. Yeah. Cool, I'll just smooth this off then and then. Just down there. 
How straight you've got to get the same on both sides. One six one. Cut it if you want to cut it. Right, everyone, let me show you what's happened. <coughs> so, this is a wall plate which has been stuck on nearly all the way round. Um, I know the edge looks messy, but it's really not important. What's more important is that it's all glued properly. Um, plaster can be scraped off after 
this is all glued so let me try show you what i mean with a word where are we so to get the shape basically the word is going to sit in here and rest against the top of that and if you know what the mansard roof looks like you know that this is the first slope so all this outside isn't really supporting any weight it's more bracing the frame and it's just pulling the shape out of it so if we can get the wood which we're not sure if we can then that'll be the next thing to do um, but like I say this close to Christmas it's a bit touch and go we get coffees. We got one. Did I get one? Yeah. Ah. Merci. Yeah. Okay. I think do you reckon this will be the last live stream before Christmas? Probably. Um uh, maybe. Good chance. Okay. Unless all your harness bits come. Unless we do a harness one, yeah. So this may well be the last live stream before Christmas. If we don't see you, have a Merry Christmas, but we'll see you every day on the normal videos anyway. Done? Bye. Wave everybody. Run away.